Everyone, welcome Jessica to The Mari Show. Now, last year, Jessica was really overjoyed because she finally married her boyfriend of nine years, Joe. Aww. Unfortunately, Jessica now believes Joe is a pathological liar. After finding an explicit photo, inappropriate messages in his phone, she's convinced Joe is living a double life. Now, Joe did admit when they were in couples counseling at one time that he cheated on Jessica once. With my but, best friend. What? With my best friend. Oh! OK, but he swears that was it. And he's confident that he's going to pass this polygraph test. All right. That's a pretty strong statement, pathological liar. What do you mean? OK, so I have caught this man in multiple lies. I have been with him for nine years. I've caught him in everything that he has done. But he can look at me like dead in your face, straight, no emotion, no tick, no nothing, and lie. No matter if you know the truth, no matter if you know. So like, you can have all the he's evidence. Good at it. Yes, extremely. He did admit that yeah. he cheated on you once. How did that happen? Five years later, Maury. Oh. It took me five years to drag the, drag the truth out of this man. Five years of me being like, I know you did it. Five years of being like, I don't believe in coincidences. Five years of, why won't you just tell me? Like, just tell me. Don't lie to me. Like, I can get over anything and everything as long as you're honest. If you're not honest with me, then we got a problem. Because I'm an honest person. And this was a friend. Yeah, my best friend. So you have all this evidence. Mm -hmm. It all is piling up. Yes. And we're going to go through it. Here's the first piece, an explicit photo. What, what are we talking about? Found that in his phone a few months ago, OK? Oh. I, uh... What's the photo? It was a... Oh. It was a photo, OK? Oh. It was him. a... Mm hmm So I jumped in his messages, and there was nothing in the messages. I jumped in the trash bin on the messages. He had everything deleted from there. So I went in his settings, and I went into vice care, and I jumped in the storage there, and then I went into the trash there. He had everything... Boy, you're, you're oh, a, I tell you, when I'm crazy, pro. I'm crazy. You're... Yes, OK? When I'm crazy, I'm crazy. So I went everything, everything. <laughs> I found the picture, OK? I found the picture, and it said it had been sent through a message. And I confronted him about it. Who was this picture for? Oh, you. that picture was for you. You. I said, well, if the picture was for me, how come I never got it? Well, I didn't like the picture. Now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Any man that don't like the picture that he takes, he going to take another picture, and he going to send the other one. <laughs> how come I never got the picture? Let's move on. How about the text messages you found? Oh, it was through this one girl who happened to be the same female who destroyed his first marriage, OK? Oh. Same female. So I'm looking, and you know you can tell when something's sketchy, and you can tell when erase it, stuff has been erased and the conversation don't add up. Well, that's kind of like how it was. It's like bits and pieces, and it was never a full story. The next piece of evidence, you know, and it involves you. Mm -hmm. And it's because you all ain't making it anymore. You're not doing it anymore. Well, he look, this is going to, like, this hurts my heart. It does, OK? Because, look, I'm going to stand up, all right? I got in the shower. I came out and I laid on the couch with him. Butt naked, lay next to him, OK? I'm not a big girl. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> laid on the couch naked, <laughs> naked right next to him. This man didn't even attempt to touch me, Maury. So in other words, any time you are intimate, you have to initiate. I do, yes. Every time. Apparently, his ex. Uh huh. Sent him a text. Uh huh. That said that he gave her an STD. Oh no! Nope, no, that's not how it went. Hold on. We're in his truck, and he gets a phone call, and it is his ex, freaking out, saying that he gave her herpes. Oh. This man has not been with her for eight years. How in the hell is she gonna go to him and accuse him when she should have took it up with the man that she was with if they hadn't been together? We gave Joe a lie detector test. Of course, we're going to reveal the results. But first, let's hear what Joe had to say about all of these sordid accusations. Watch. I admit I'm not perfect, and I have made some mistakes. I've told Jessica the truth, but it's frustrating that she won't believe me. Jessica says she's found text messages from other women in my phone. I really don't know what she's talking about. I can't control what women send me. Text messages don't mean that I'm sleeping with them. Jessica and I have lost our chemistry recently, but that's not all my fault. It's hard to be intimate with somebody when they're always accusing you of cheating. I love my wife. I just hope we can finally get our relationship back on track. Everybody, welcome Joe to The Maury Show. Joe, nice to see you. Welcome. 
have a seat. Okay, you've been backstage. This is your wife. I love my wife. And I'm not perfect, but that's, how, that's why I'm here is to... How come eventually you admitted that you cheated one time? We got married and I thought it would be a good way to reconcile things and try to start over from scratch. Even though you waited five years to tell me. He yes. waited six months until after we were married to tell me. Okay. Oh. And you wanna know how that conversation popped up? I said, do you love me? And he was like, yeah. I said, do you love me enough to be honest? He was like, yeah. I was like, good. Did you cheat on me? Uh, no. And then he didn't admit that he actually cheated on me until we went to therapy. How about the picture of your private part? What was that all about? I've already explained it. I took the picture. <laughs> I didn't like it. And also, on top of that, because we have not been... Uh, <clears throat> that intimate? Very intimate. I thought if I sent it, I would get a response, something of the sort of, well, I wish you would use that on me, or something of that nature. How about all the inappropriate text messages that you there, Now, there has been very few... I don't know what she's thinking, because some of it, or actually, basically all of it, was exactly what she said. It looks like there's missing pieces. And that's what it was. Explain. Except for that you admitted to the missing what, pieces once. being... W once. Yeah, of course, once. Yeah, and that's so what you admitted once. I assume that you, when you say there's a lack of intimacy, it's because of all these accusations. And that's a lot of it. I mean, why would I want to be intimate with somebody that's always yelling at me, bitching at me, accusing me of doing things when I'm not doing anything? We literally have GPS Don't on our phones. Don't give me I'm a talking. reason I'm talking. to disbelieve hey, you. Can I talk? Can I speak? And this is a lot of our problem right here, is every time I, I try to speak, yeah. she wants to try to over, over, overpower you. me and yeah. not let me finish what I have to say. If you were telling the truth, I wouldn't have an issue that with That doesn't it. matter. It doesn't matter what we're speaking of. You always do that. You always try to talk over me. You will not shut up and let me talk. Oh. Why, why would your ex tell her that you gave her an STD? I still don't she, even remember that. She called his phone. Oh, and that's his excuse for everything. That is... Oh, I have a bad memory. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember that. I, I do have so a terrible like you memory. You only remember what is convenient for you. Now, I get the feeling you still love this guy a lot. Uh, unconditionally. If I didn't love him, Maury, I wouldn't have put up with this for nine years. Well, well like, when, you say, when you say unconditionally, I mean, does that mean that no matter what his answers oh, are here? No, no. That does not, that, not mean not that. Not that unconditionally? Um, um, okay. See... I had this thing like I never wanted to get married. I never wanted to get married because I never wanted to go through a divorce. And I thought I found my one with him, Maury. I thought I found my one, my one that wasn't gonna hurt me, my one that wasn't gonna do me wrong. And I've put up with too much for this man. I've been with him through everything. I've helped him with everything. But if he gets to be a hoe, then so do I. <laughs> because I'm not gonna get a divorce. And how his life turns out completely depends on him, whether it's going to be good or it's going to be bad, it's going to be whatever he makes it. But you're not going to get a divorce. Oh, no, it's going to be an equal opportunity. Oh, I see. <laughs> Here we go. Joe, during your relationship with Jessica, did you have sexual relations with your coworker? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Told you. Good, I'm glad. Was the deleted picture of your privates on your phone meant for women other than Jessica? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Told you. <laughs> Joe, have you received inappropriate pictures of women while in a relationship with Jessica? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh. Joe, during... Your and Jessica's relationship, did you have sexual relations with your ex? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you did, but apparently... Oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I read where he did early in your relationship, and you let it go. No, because I've asked him about that multiple times, and he has lied to my face multiple times, Maury. Was this early in the relationship or what? It's been a long time ago. It ain't been that long ago. Five, five or better years. 
Were you with me? Yes. Were we in a relationship? Yes. We'll be back after this. Oh. You are not the father. <laughs>